Hello guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial of how to get Windows 7 on your MacBook Pro or any Mac that you have. I'm using a MacBook Pro 2010 version and it's got 250 GB of storage, 4 gig RAM. So what you first need to do is download VirtualBox. I will try and leave the links in the description. So download that and I'll just go into my apps. There's VirtualBox. Um, so what you want to do when, the, when you get this on your screen, go new. I already have one running, and then just call it whatever you want. Just go random, and then you can. I went. I go Windows 7, you go continue, and Windows accept the minimum of 512 gigabyte, me, uh, megabyte, sorry. so I, for the right speed, I, for good speed, I went 687, and then I just went, click happy here, just go what it do whatever it says um, and then see how much space you want it to take up I did 16 gigabytes I mean I, I did 18 because the minimum is 16 I did create and then you've got this again so now what you have to do you lots of people just double click, click this straight away and it comes up with you can't boot it because you haven't got the software for it. So you have to download something else, um, and that is. I'll find it for you. It's just like I just typed up on the internet. Uh, Windows for Mac or Windows Seven for Mac ISO. So and then I done. I just found one and I downloaded it. And it's this. So it just goes into your downloads. It's, my one was called um, X17 something something. And you don't have to worry about that. Um, so when you've got this, you go into storage. This is what many people don't do. This is what you have to do, and then you click on this uh, plus, and then go add CD slash DVD device, and you go choose disk, and then just wait for it to load. Then I went, you go on downloads, and then I did this. You just click on one of these. So you just click on that, and then open. That's the thing that you just downloaded. Go OK. So now, when you start up, you just double click. It'll come up, it'll popping up. It should open up, and I've already started it, so I've already done this, and it works really well. It's really cool. I've got it because I want to do some stuff that I can't do on Mac, and we've got a, a Windows computer, so I want to be able to transfer stuff from the other computer to here. So basically, from now it just goes through um, what you have to do. It's just like buying a new complete, completely new computer. Um, from the shop and it just goes takes you through step by step of setting up the computer and yeah I just wait for this to load and go through a bit more actually while that's loading I'm gonna show you what I typed up on the internet um, for the download of the um, the package that you need
for Windows, so I have Windows 7 for Mac ISO download. So Windows 7 for Mac ISO download. Full screen that. Um, So this one here, I'll leave the link in the description. And you can either get the 32 or the 64 bit. And there it is, just right there. So you just click download, either one. I did the 32. and then it will come up in your finder like I did and then you just follow the same steps so I'm gonna show you so this is the windows that I'm starting up just try one and this is the one that I've already got Right here. So it works really well. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. You've got all this, it's awesome. Just works like a normal Windows computer. So exit out of that. I still have to find out how to make it full screen, but I'm sure that's not too hard. Just post in the comments and I'll answer that. So we'll find out just after this video. So this is the one that I'm setting up at the moment. And it says it's running, so you just gotta put in your passwords and wait for a bit of loading. It's pretty fast. And it's gotta choose what network you want like this. It's gotta just fill out all your information. So that's pretty much how to do it. So like and subscribe and uh, just comment on anything else you want to know about this. Because there's probably something that I haven't covered. Um, so thanks for watching and hope you learnt something. Thanks.